Good morning, everybody. I would like to, um, one, thank you for um, joining us, and um, we hope that um, you are all blessed and feeling well. So our lesson today is about Peter, and Peter was one of the disciples of Jesus, and so before we get too far into this, I think that we should probably um, pray a little bit. So, Father God, we thank you so much for um, leading, leading these sweet children in um, the prayer of release to help us pause and be still and ask the Holy Spirit to quiet our hearts and our minds so that we can receive what it is that you have for us today. Okay. Thank you, Father. Amen. All right. Friends, we just pray to God. Do you think God is listening when you pray? I, I think he does. And so God is always listening because he is always with us and hears everything, everything we say. So today in the big God story, we'll hear about a group of people who prayed for a man named Peter. Once there was a king named Herod, so you're gonna look for the picture that has image one and it's down in the bottom right corner on your page. Uh, yeah, on the page. So image one, it's a picture of Herod. He was very mad. Many people were choosing to follow Jesus and he didn't like this much. Not one little bit. Can you show me your mad face? Oh, those are scary mad faces. King Herod heard that Peter and many others were telling people about Jesus. And he was angry and he had his soldiers put Peter in prison. So I don't think that would be very much fun. So um, Peter, uh, in prison is image number two. So I'll give you time to find that. And okay, so they chained Peter to two guards so that he couldn't get away. Can you imagine dragging two guards that didn't want you to you know, leave? So Herod was angry and he had his soldiers put Peter in prison and they chained the, the guards to the to Peter and so um, you're going to be able to make these little um, uh, chains so um, there's going to be some paper that you're able to um, cut up and this is how you're, you're gonna make them. This is just a sample, you can do it any way you want. But sometimes it's easier to have a visual to understand and then, then you can slip them on. And um, there you go. So the people who loved and followed Jesus heard what happened to Peter. So they gathered together and started to pray. So that would be image four, the people praying. The people loved God so much, they knew it was very important for everyone to hear all about God's love. Peter had a special job to do, and he couldn't do it in jail. God's people didn't pray for just one minute. They didn't pray for just two minutes, or even three. They prayed all night long. Do you think God heard them praying? Yes, he did. Can you show me your prayer hands? Yes, he did. Okay. Some people like to pray like this, as to where they're handing God what is um, on their heart so that he can take it away. Or some people even like to just raise their hands and pray. So there's a couple of options for you, whatever um, works best for you. So while Peter was sleeping in the jail, a bright light shined down on him and God sent an angel to rescue Peter from jail. The angel woke Peter and told him to stand up. So um, image number five, it has 
the angel in the prison cell. The angel awoke Peter and told him to stand up. So when Peter stood up, the chains fell right off of him. The angel told Peter to get dressed because it was time to leave. Peter listened and followed the angel out of the prison. Peter didn't understand what was happening, but he continued to follow the angel. So image number six is uh, the angel and Peter. The angel led Peter out of the prison to safety. Then suddenly the angel was gone. Peter saw that he was free. He said, it's really true. The Lord sent an angel and saved me. Yay! Peter went to the house where his friends were praying. He knocked on the door. Image number seven would be Peter at the door. Let's all knock on the door. Okay, uh, you guys can knock on the floor and just, so a girl named Rhoda came to the door and when she heard Peter's voice, she was so excited that she forgot to let him in. She ran and told everyone inside the house that Peter was at the door. The people didn't believe her, but Peter kept knocking. Can you help me knock some more? So image number eight is a group of people with Peter. I'll give you time to find that. Okay. So when they opened the door, they were so surprised to see him that Peter had to motion to them to be quiet. He wanted to tell them how God saved him. Right before Peter left, he told them to go and tell all the other disciples what had happened. Did God listen to the people when they were praying for Peter? I think he did. God was with the people when they were praying for Peter. And he was with Peter when he was in the prison cell. God heard his people pray. He sent an angel to set Peter free. We can trust God. He always listens to our prayers. So our prayer that we can pray for today and all this week is Matthew 19, 26. And Jesus looked at them and he said, with God, all things are possible. So that is the end of the um, big God story. And so there's papers in your, in your box that will let you know um, the other things that you can do. And I just really hope that you have a wonderful day and that you are able to share with your brothers and sisters or anybody else in the, in the house that's with you the great love of God because he's always listening. Thank you.